I'll talk to a dude I know in the band. I'll see. Tom, you want to take over? Tom, if you want, I'm going to get probably booted off here. In fact, hold on one second. Hold on. Just sent in a request. Let's see if this happens. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you know, he is. I gotta say, what's fucking funny about this? Yeah. I must have put like fucking 15 comments on there like, kissing you before you even noticed me. Well, it's. And a lot of men want to kiss me on these things. And I just, I happened to see it was you. And, you know, here we are. Well, you know, um, I, I think you're doing great. I was, uh, I have a few tears in my eyes because I just kept saying, kiss me, your mouth on my mouth, our mouths together. And I just kept going with it. Yeah. But, like, it reminds me of our good friend, Jimmy, because you know how ring cameras have, or like the, you put that thing in your front door and like if someone comes, you get like a notification on your phone. Mm -hmm. And you could see who's there delivering something. Well, uh, Jimmy came home and he knew that it was, was going to notify his wife. And so he drops his pants and underwear and just puts his ass against it. Uh -huh. And his wife gets the notification. She's watching him do it, but she doesn't say a damn thing. So he just holds for the longest period of time. And eventually just to reach, bend over, pull his pants and underwear back on and belt it up. And then walk in the house, not knowing that it, she was, I just thought that was a really great joke to do to somebody because he waited naked on the front porch for like, I don't know, a handful of minutes. But it reminded me what I was doing to you. I, it was it's good. And I just, you know, I want to put you on the spot, but you're looking like a tasty dish. You know, you know people say that like, I'm, pretty much exactly like gravy like you know how gravy just takes everything better yeah you put it on you yeah and it's gravy it just makes yeah. it better yeah what are, are you right? what are you fucking talking about to all these people right now i i heard you talking about chris cornell and shit. i was like what's the lie is it do you teach music theory right now is that what's going on no 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 so usually what i do is on when i know it's thursday but usually on wednesdays whiskey wednesdays i open a bottle of whiskey do you? and then i just talk to people i know i answer questions I and I couldn't do it yesterday because um, the holiday of the Jews started. And I was with my family. Ah. Passover. You, know? you guys have so many holidays. I know. In there's, my there's, religion, we only had a couple. Well, yours is coming up soon, you know, when, when the Lord. The Easter one. Doing thing. Yes. I don't know what happened that day. They're all okay. He died and he came back and they're all okay. So that means we should have bunnies that lay eggs. And yeah, I and you have to go find them. Yeah. Right? Right here. Yeah, so I pushed it to Thursday, and you know, keeping up with the brand, the thirsty Thursday. Do you have a white claw? Do you want to join me? I mean, you know what? I guess what I just found out. I thought you'd be proud of me. Um, someone, I think it was Georgian or Jimmy, um, brought up the high high noon. Is that what it is? Uh huh. High, have you heard of those? Oh, uh, wait. It's no, like a I'm manly. Thinking. It's like a white claw, but it's fucking. It's for like men? for dude. It's a white claw for men. It's a white claw for men. Uh huh. I, I, I'm not, like, that into the White Claw, other than the fact that, like, I just like vodka sodas, and now everyone does them. You can call them a spritzer if you want, whatever you want. I know you drink, like, fucking the blackest beer ever. What do you Blackest beer, and, and look, stuff for hombres. Wait, what's that? Good. This is a mezcal. It's from the basically the tequila family. You're but so you and I are technically dos hombres. Wow. Yeah. Like, you why know. aren't you drinking Casa Amigos? Well, I am a big fan of the George Clooney tequila, yeah. and I almost got a Casamigos mezcal, but but I figured I'm going to try. Did you ever watch Breaking Bad? Uh, I, no, but I have heard of it. Okay, I, so the two main guys from Breaking Bad, that's their mezcal company. Okay, I have a question for you. This Hit is me. a serious question. You need to really, like, think about this. I want a serious answer. Okay. <laughs> Would you ever... I like how you say it's serious, and you laugh before you even ask me. Well, because <laughs> I have the question in mind. Would okay. you ever kiss George Clooney again? Again? Yeah. It depends on the amount of, of tequila he's willing to count me. You know, I'm saying there's a chance. Yeah, they get it. All right. Well, it's good. Yeah. Why are you in San are, Diego? Are, yeah, I'm in San Diego, and I'm looking at you. Are you even wearing pants right now? I have no idea. You, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Do you do um, all these live things, like all fucking sexy and shit? Generally pantsless. Do you know but, how um, many comments I had to say about kissing you to get you to pay attention? To me? You know, like literally 30. Everyone else fucking knew. Everyone else was supporting it. Yeah. And then you finally got on and I was like, you know what? I'm going to tell you, I have considered in the past bugging you to join me. You should. But now that I know 
now that I know you're willing to join me, we're gonna do. Dude, this I'm not again. even stoned right now. If I got stoned and we talk about just weird shit, these things yeah. are, they get pretty popular. I'm gonna warn with your brain. Warn you. I'm with gonna your warn brain you. My stupidity. There are gonna be a lot of questions about three topics. Okay. okay. Aliens. Fucking, I got answers. Blink one eighty two. That's shit. I don't have answers on, and you yeah. just, I, like I don't fucking know. And angels and airwaves. Yep. Got it. I can answer just, a lot of things. I'm just warning you, if you join me again, just be ready for that. You, you're like, join me. You sound like a Marvel sinister villain. Well, we were actually talking about kids' names for my son that is coming, and somebody recommended Anakin. Do you have any thoughts? You... Anakin for your son's name? Yeah. yeah. That's actually pretty bitchin'. I, I got another name you can name him. Um, I was just thinking Tron would be Tron. a rad name. <laughs> would that be Tron good? Ruben. Okay. All um, right. Not bad. I always yeah. wanted to get a horse. To name a horse Tron. Okay. Know. You know, that's exactly why when I was at a Rite Aid yesterday, I saw a calendar for horse lovers and I just sent you a photo of it. And I sent you a guidebook on threesomes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. What I say about mine at AM PM? Yours AM PM, I was at Rite Aid. You know, the. the Do you uh, recognize that, that waveform right there, by the way? No, I don't. What is that's that? The Adventure. Is, is that's really? our song, The adventure well i know you actually didn't technically plan that if you weren't in no the band. i approved, approved it live though remember you that. did that's true you did yeah Back, you absolutely did and but they take this dude like takes the song and then paints the waveform and sells it to charity but maybe no one bought it so he gave it to me <laughs> <laughs> no that's really cool though kind of cool right that is very very, very cool you have the same thing in your house but it's some like german composer that like is beethoven german uh, absolutely yeah, you know what i'm watching right now by the way i actually really think you need to do this there's this show and i told you this before that came out in 2018 called hunting hitler uh, and you don't think i watched that did you watch all three seasons uh, the fucking underground bunkers are insane they found a house and it goes down it was like a, it was a beautiful lake property the lake property was stunning dude, i know it's like People, why did they I love the that? water but like what? in the middle of like a town there's like a little house on the river yeah but under the house it goes down 400 feet into the rock and three miles of fucking shelter bunk bunkers that have like roads and shit. I'm like, how do they build this shit? They built okay. more shit in like four or five years than it seems like countries have done in decades and decades and decades. It's, I'm German so are very right efficient, now. whether they're outside of their own border borders or not. They can build stuff, especially with concrete. But hey, concrete. did you watch the whole thing? Because I'm going to ruin it for you if yeah. you haven't. What, they don't find Hitler? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, this is the They're like, yeah, we still don't have enough evidence. We don't know. God damn it. Yeah, that's what well, always happens. I'm going to somehow relate this to UFOs or something. I'm going to pull it all together, and I'm going to give you the cliff notes is what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we should discuss this. I mean, how would you feel? I don't want to put you on the spot in front of your legions here. Okay. But what if what if we just had a chit-chat, and I asked you some questions? I would clear them with your publicist first because I don't want you getting in trouble with the CIA. Okay, good. You know? Thank God. You know, I think we should talk about it because people people are like, you ever talk to Tom about aliens? And I'm like, yeah. And most conversations start with, I shouldn't tell you this, but, yeah. and then I'm sworn to secrecy. So I yeah. can't tell anybody. We got, there's certain things that are off limits, but if you ask me something I can't get into, I'd say it, but mm. I can say most things or I can say, I don't know, but I've heard. That's probably how I'd have the wink, wink, wink. Yeah. Hey, are oh. you, what? No, real question. I saw, I was watching something on Hulu. I think Nat Geo may have put it out, UFO something. But Chris Mellon and, and Lou are on it. They're on almost that stuff, yeah. But yeah. have you seen that one in particular? It seemed pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the new, it's, wait, that's the. It's Le recent. Le it came out this year. Yeah, it's Leslie Keen's new thing. And it's a big deal because she's actually the journalist that broke the story at the New York Times with us. She's great. That's, that's exactly yeah. it. Am I going to see you on that series or not? For some reason, they probably didn't want to call me for my info because i think chris and lou's info is a lot better uh -huh. i'd be like it's so gnarly it's so rad but we got to get down on this shit <laughs> it's crazy you have a way with words I got a way you with really words. Do. yeah i speak to the common man alon you know that hey that's that's fine by the way if anyone lives in santa monica i don't know if it's still up there but there is a naked mural of tom on i've a, been on hearing a, a lot about that actually it's, and, and i think it's the true story it's like those wyland paintings except it's not a whale yeah it's just <laughs> my dick you know yeah. what else too um i watched monsters of california the other night i showed it to a friend <clears throat> showed it to georgian okay seen... 
Fuck it, the Greek awesome. god himself. Loved it. But, dude, I am telling you, for all the people watching, Alon scored this film. It's so fucking good. When's it coming out? Because people ask me, and I say, Tom knows how to bend space-time fabric, and I don't know when yeah. it actually happens. I bent time to fucking push it back. No, so the distributor is like July, I think. They're trying to make it around UFO Day. Um, so they're hoping... There's the UFO Day? Is that I like Hug Your Brother Day? No, um, that's just, National Donut it's Day? kind of similar. Not my fucking... I want it out now, but I, I think they're just trying to create an event you know so i think it's going to be the you know, june or july is what because it, it was going to be like right now and then they're like you know what i think we could do it better if it's then so it's coming we're all going to be like 90 but it's coming okay so what you're telling me is that your gift to me for the the birth of my son by the way you're performing the circumcision i'm giving you that honor you know, the circumcision have you heard that I, I played you that jim gaffigan thing about circumcision yeah it's like all these religious leaders are sitting in a room and one guy goes how should we honor god and one guy goes i don't know don't eat pork he's i don't know i like bacon he goes <laughs> the next guy and he goes let's take sundays off or something and the third guy goes let's cut off our penis <laughs> well it's just like i'm know. giving you the opportunity okay i don't know eight cut days life. after he's born i'm giving you a scalpel if you show up great if not i've got a backup i don't understand this whole fucking no one asked me like to circumcise like i couldn't even talk i was like no your, your, your mother was probably thinking that abraham did it therefore yahweh was a fan and... why did yahweh want us to do that like what does that have to do with anything why couldn't it be like our earlobe or like a cut our hair i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna need if you believe in me i'm gonna need you to pierce your left ear yeah i know it's like crazy there's some crazy shit in the old testament you know? dude it's kill your really firstborn son <laughs> locusts and shit cut your dick off like it's gnarly there's a lot <laughs> There's a, a lot, lot there. It's yeah. not too loving, in my opinion. The only thing loving is in Ezekiel when they talk about horse emissions and donkey dicks. I swear to God, it's real. I put that verse on Twitter quite a few times, and people you, get you have, but I didn't know if you just wrote it and consider yourself a prophet because I could see you do. <laughs> I, I I kind of am a prophet, so I'm glad you brought that up. I didn't want to have to bring it up. It's nice yeah. for people to. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Are you gonna put pants on and talk about real shit? Here's the seventh and the fifth of a jazz chord. Uh, no, I don't. I don't talk about theory, but occasionally there's a question. And by the way, you mentioned something about Beethoven and at my house and a, in my little studio in the bathroom that's in there, I have a, a framed portrait of Beethoven so that when I'm peeing on a break, I look into his eyes and I get re-inspired. So gnarly. That would make the peace stop for me. I'd be like, stop looking at me. Stop. Yeah, no, no. It, it, it gets me. Oh, like, you know you what? Hard, Bad ideas it. are now out. The new, the new good ideas are in, and then I get back to work. You know what? When you join the band, like on the first tour we were on, mm -hmm. I walked into the dressing room. You were laying on the couch, and you changed the music to Beethoven. You were like just meditating, like listening to Beethoven. And I was like, "What the fuck are you listening to?" And it was, I was like, "People actually listen to this shit." I don't know. I, you do. I, I was trying to make you comfortable because I assumed that that that's what Mark and Travis did. Well, you know what was gnarly was when you made us all get Greta Van Fleet tattoos. <laughs> I was like, like, why are you doing? Why do we have to do this right now? We have a show to play. And you're like, get yeah. it done. Oh, you don't mean those videos I want to send you. There's so many good ones. I, 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 I like the one you sent me, sent me of the blue velvet onesie with the stars sewed onto it. Hey, you know what? Everyone's got to do their thing. And for the people listening, see, Alon is probably number one fan of Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. And then Greta Van Fleet is kind of like them, but with like the dazzled clothing and shit. And so every once in a while, I have to send him some little update videos on what that band is doing. Yeah. And Alon just doesn't like it very much. So yeah, everything I know about them comes from Tom. Yeah. Well, I got a big back piece, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, hey it's this, been nice this talking is a delight. to you. This is well, a delight. We're going to do it again. We got to do, uh, instead of doing Casa Amigos, we should do Banos Amigos. Okay. So you and I are sitting on toilet string tequila. No. No, uh, you know, truly or white claw, some some decent white beverages. White, white claw amigos, I like that. <laughs> Clamigos. Clamigos. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, pal. It's been beautiful. Real delight. And, and hi, everybody. Um, I really enjoyed this time with my friend Alon. I think we just really got some things off our chest. Uh, Alon, sorry that I had to fucking say I'm kissing you for so long to get attention and like pay attention to me but you know what the same way I, 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 get your I wanted to make you work for it well I did mm. I did all right have a All great right, evening. Pal. take care bye kids bye